Someone stole your pants. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oh, well, you know, uh, in Australia, we wear shorts and shirts. It's tropical where I come from, mate, yeah. But it's freezing here in this studio. Isn't this freezing for you right now? Look, Brian's over there wearing yeah. a, a jacket. I a got a parka backstage if you want to use it. <laughs> All righty. Well, the humidity's building out, out the back there. Ah, good, excellent. Let's talk yeah. about what you do. Yeah. You hunt crocodiles for a living. Yes, yes, yes. And you wrestle them with your bare hands. Yeah, when I have to, I do, yeah. What, what happens, Conan, is um, there's this conflict between man and beast in Australia, similar to what's happening down in Florida, where you've got a large, uh, a large crocodile coming in where there's uh, people trying to live and people fishing, uh, eating livestock. Well, they, the government calls me in and I'll go out and I'll catch them. You know, the big ones I trap and the small ones I'll jump on. I might give you a demonstration a bit later. And then I'll remove them out of the bush and if I can, I'll mm -hmm. relocate them to an area where they can never hurt anyone, you know, out in a remote area. Or you you they... rehabilitate them for society? What do you do? <laughs> no, 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 no. You teach them to read, you, you teach them a trade, I understand. Yeah, give them an education and then <laughs> stick them back in the bush. <laughs> Or, Very nice. Or they have to come back to my... Uh, I've got a zoological facility which my dad set up and, um, and they'll have to come back there to live if they're too naughty. Of course, some of the crocs, you know, the big 15, 16 footers that I've caught, you know, if they're attacking people and they get a little bit too naughty, then they can't go back into the bush because I'll just kill and eat someone. Okay, so you define killing and eating someone as being naughty. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's naughty behavior. It is. It's All a little right. bit naughty. Okay, very yeah. naughty. All right. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it since, uh, well, jumping on crocodiles I've been doing since I was nine years of age. Dad, yeah, well, everyone does that early. Yeah, what are you it, talking about? It's Australia, mate. Yeah. And, um, what do you mean nine years of age? How do you start doing that? It just happens? A crocodile passes you in front of yeah. a drugstore and you jump on it when you're nine? Yeah, no. In 1970, my dad, who's quite a well-known uh, herpetologist in Australia. Uh, uh, herpetologist? Herpetologist. He studies yeah. reptiles. Herb Alpert. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> reptiles. reptiles, reptiles. He studies reptiles. Okay, yeah, very good. Um, and quite a famous naturalist. Well, he set up a zoo, a big park, focused on reptiles in 1970. So, you know, I was born at a young age. I was hatched up against a big rock in <laughs> Upper Fern Tree Gully. Born and at a very young age. Yeah, yeah. just, All you know, right. really small. It's good that you got started early being born. That's good. Totally. <laughs> Some of us get in on it late, and then it's a mess. You never yeah. catch up. Yeah, mate. Yeah. All right, so, and Dad set up this zoo. And so, for me, you know, I wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. He's the bloke I respect the most. And um, so, <laughs> I've grown up out in the Australian outback, catching reptiles, you know, crocodiles, snakes, koalas, kangaroos, you name it, I've been involved in it with our unique wildlife in Australia. Oh, okay, yeah. incredible. Now, yeah. now, okay, is there any animal out there that you can't handle? Is there an animal that you just can't deal with? Parrots. <laughs> what do you mean parrots? Why do I do parrots, mate? What, what's wrong with oh. parrots? I can handle parrots. You just Parrots? What? Aren't you scared of parrots? No, it's a little oh. cute little bird. No, no, kind of. First thing they do is they, you know, suck you in with, hello, cocky, hello, cocky. And you go in, whack, they're hanging <laughs> off your nose, trying to pull your nose off. Mate, I had this cockatoo, <laughs> this pet cockatoo, and I was, you know, talking to it, stroking it on the head. Next thing, whammo, grab me on the nose. See the scar in here? Oh, through my the God, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Yeah, I did, that's not a pierce job, mate. That was like a cockatoo grabbed me and tried to take my nose off. Okay. Ever since then, I've been really worried with parrots. All right, so parrots stay away, crocodiles fun. Give them now, distance. Now, we got to do this pretty fast, but I understand you're going to give me a demonstration. Yes. Of how to wrestle and capture a crocodile. There's one problem, though, Conan. What's that? Well... You know, with the big crocs, you know, anything over six feet, I, yes. use, I use a trap. Yes. It's very simple technique. The croc goes up inside the trap, grabs hold of the meat, trap goes off, and then he's secured in there. You go along, top jaw rope him, get him into a boat, and then back to camp. This Piece is the cake. way all of us have been doing it for years. Yes. Totally. Okay. Yes. With the smaller crocodiles, anything under six feet, you go out at night, spotlight, jump on, and this is the technique that I'd like to demonstrate to you. This but is doing it by hand, but what's the yes. problem? Well, the croc that you've got here is over six feet, so I may need a hand to restrain it. If you're keen. Bearing in mind... If I what? Well, if you're keen. If I'm keen or if I can? Keen. Oh, if I... If, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Fine, thank you. you. Well, normally, Conan, my yeah. wife, you know, my little wife, Terry, she'll jump on the tail and help me restrain it if it's over six feet. Couples should work together, yes. You bet. So if you could be my couple tonight, let's, let's do it. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Let's just do this very quickly and seriously. Now, we should point out to people, our show couldn't afford a real crocodile. <coughs> Stop giggling, it's very sad, more sad than funny. And so what we have here is uh, a rubber simulation of a crocodile. Yeah, that's definitely a saltwater crocodile. As you can see, it's over six feet. Do now, I have to be wearing shorts for this? Well, for, 
No, no, no. Excellent. Show me what to do. All We're right. running out of time. Well, let's see. First off, you got to locate the croc. So you go out at it's night. It's right there in the kiddie pool. It is. There it is. It's in the kiddie pool. Okay. You happy enough? Right. Yeah. Right. Shirt off. All right. You are key. All right. You pick it up with the spotlight. You okay. see its eyes shine. Watch I see it. Its eyes are shining. Right here. You, I'll be up in front of the boat. I'm you, at the back of the boat. You're driving the boat. I'm driving the boat. Hold the spotlight up over my shoulder. Right. Okay. Okay. Here happens. we go. As soon as I get within range, yes. I'm going to dive off. But I'm going to need backup. It's over six feet. Okay. Here we go. We're getting closer and so closer. So I dive after you dive. Once I restrain it by the neck, you take the tail end, man. Here we go. Here we right go. Up. Here we go. In it. Look for Steve Irwin's docu-series, Crocodile Hunter. Put it right back! <laughs> yeah.